Hey Art Friends, Happy New Year! We have missed you so much, but we've had a lot of fun with our family. We did have a lot of fun, and we hope you had fun too. We also hope you did a lot of drawing! We published a lot of art lessons in 2020, and we thought it would be fun to go through all of those lessons, all of the ones that we uploaded last year, and we picked the top videos, the videos that you watch the most. This video will start at number 10 and count down to the most watched video of 2020. We hope you enjoy all of these lessons. We love you so much, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hadley, what are we gonna draw in this lesson? A myrmicorn. Yeah, what, what is a myrmicorn? It's a unicorn mixed with a mermaid. Yeah, pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need something to draw with. We're gonna use markers and some paper and... Something to color with. <laughs> All right, let's start. Okay. Let's first draw our myrmicorn's eye. We're gonna draw a circle, about that big. And then let's draw a smaller circle inside towards the top. This is to make her eyes look shiny. And cute. And cute. We're gonna color in the big circle, but leave that little circle white. All right, now let's add eyelashes. One, two, three. You One. could add. More Two, if you want. Three, four. Good. <laughs> now let's draw our unicorn's head. We're gonna start above her eye and we're gonna draw a line that comes down. Down. Then we're gonna draw her nose or snout. We're gonna draw kind of a U shape right here. And then we're gonna draw her cheek. We're gonna come up like this and then we're gonna curve down and then back up. Up, down. Yeah. Back up. Yeah, there's a little extra bump in there, but that's okay. <laughs> the most important thing is to have fun. Have fun and to practice. Practice. It looks perfect. Okay, let's keep going. We're gonna draw her ear next. We're gonna draw an A shape. We're gonna go up and then back down. <laughs> let's draw another little shape, just like that inside, but smaller. What should we draw next? Her horn. Her horn. Okay, unicorn horn. Horn. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to draw another A shape. We're going to come up, curve at the top, and then back down. Her unicorn corn. Yeah, unicorn horn horn. Corn. <laughs> unicorn horn corn. <laughs> and then we're going to draw another shape right here for her other ear. Next, let's draw her neck. We're going to start right here behind her ear, and we're going to draw a curve. It's going to come down, curve down like this. Yes, there you go. Then we're gonna draw the front of her neck. We're gonna start right here on her cheek and we're gonna draw a little short line that comes down. Let's draw that line just a little longer so that she has a long neck, longer neck. Yeah, there we go. Now let's draw her, her front legs. We're gonna draw a line that comes out and then we're gonna draw a bent going down. And then let's draw the other side of her leg. We're gonna leave some space and we're gonna draw another line that matches the first one, but it's shorter. And then we're gonna draw another bend that comes down. Then down here at the bottom, we'll connect the two with another curve for the bottom of her foot. Then we're gonna draw another line right above that one that matches. Okay, let's draw her other leg. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna draw another line coming out and then we're we're gonna draw it bent, just like we did on the first one. And this time I'm drawing it shorter. And then we're gonna draw, I'm gonna draw a little longer though. And then we're gonna connect it into her, her other foot. Now we're only drawing part of this leg because it's behind the first one. Yeah. What's that called? Overlapping. Overlapping, yeah. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna draw another line above for the top of her foot or hoof. And now we're ready to draw the rest of her body. Let's imagine this neckline going behind the front leg and coming out the bottom. Yeah, I'm gonna extend the back of her neck down further so it matches. And I have a diagonal line here and then we're gonna connect where it matches diagonally. This one's a little, still a little higher, yeah. Now let's draw her tail, her mermaid tail. We're gonna draw a bumpy line first. The mermaid part of her. Yeah, the mermaid part, yeah. <laughs> This kind of looks like she's wearing a tutu or a dress. A <laughs> tutu. Tutu. Then let's draw a little curve. Right here we're gonna start on the back of her tail and we're gonna draw a curve that comes up like this and curves up. Yeah, and then let's come over here 
for the front of her tail. And we're going to draw another curve. It comes down. And then look towards the back. We're going to come to a point. Good job. Now what should we draw? Her wings. Her wings. Okay, we'll finish her tail uh, after we draw her wings. Let's start right here and we'll draw a curve that comes down out of her back. And I'm going to extend it just a little further and then we're going to draw a bumpy line coming back into her body. Yeah, I'm going to add one more bumpy line. <laughs> Okay, let's give her two wings. I'm gonna draw another curve that comes out. See how it's closer right here? Overlapping. Yes, we're doing more overlapping. I love overlapping. It makes our drawings look more 3D. Then we're gonna draw one little bump coming back. We're only drawing part of it because it's I behind. Could. You could add two bumps if you wanted. Yeah, you have more distance. Then I'm gonna draw another bump for that other row of feathers or whatever her wings are made out of. Scales. Ooh. That, oh. <laughs> I'm not sure why she has wings either, <laughs> but that's okay. It makes that's her cooler. Myrmicorn. Myrmicorn. Yeah, but she, oh, she could fly and swim. <gasps> <laughs> okay, let's finish drawing her. You're still, your mind is exploding right now. You never even thought I that that could be possible. It. Yeah. You, you thought fly she was just. And you could swim. Yeah, you thought she could just swim. I wish I could fly and swim. That would be awesome. But I can't swim. You can't swim. Can you fly though? No. <laughs> I can fly on the trampoline. Yeah, you do <laughs> look like you're flying. <laughs> All right, now let's draw her hair. We're gonna draw it in the wind or water. Or water. Yeah, either one. So we're gonna start right here, and we're gonna draw an S curve coming back. So it curves one way, and then back the other way. Now we're going to draw a short line back. You could add a background. And oh, it yeah. Could be swimming or flying. You could change it. Oh. <laughs> now let's draw another curve coming back further. And then I'm going to draw another short line. And then we're going to draw another S curve. So I drew a little up and then there we go. Now let's draw a big curve coming back. Her hair's going to kind of look like fire. And then we're going to draw a short line. And then a big curve back. We could even add one more little short line. And then I'm going to draw an S curve. Go up and then back down. Overlapping. Oh, yeah. I like how your hair is behind the wings. That's cool. We still need to finish her tail. Let's start at the point, And we're going to draw another S curve. So curve one way, back the other way. And then we're going to start up here at the end. And we're going to curve all the way back down to her tail. Now I'm going to do another S curve. We're going to curve this way and then back. And then we're going to use even more overlapping. We're going to go behind the wings. Imagine it going behind the wings, coming down and then connecting at the tail again. We're still missing a few details. Let's add a little nostril. Nose hole. Nose hole. <laughs> <laughs> and also a smile. Let's draw a little curve. So our myrmicorn's happy. And then let's also add scales on her tail. I'm going to draw little bump, bumpy lines coming across her tail. Now remember, your drawings don't have to look exactly like ours, right? Yeah. Your two drawings look different. Mm -hmm. The most important thing is to have I was fun. waiting for you to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Go all the way down her tail with little bumpy lines. And then I'm even going to add, I'm going to add some curves right here. Look at these curves. We're going to draw really cool lines on the end of her tail going this way. Oh, she looks so cool. She looks really pretty. Hadley, we did it. We finished drawing our myrmicorns. <laughs> and they look really cute, except they're going to look even cuter once we do what? Color them. Yeah, we need to color them. Yeah. <laughs> this part we're going to fast forward again. But at the end, you can pause the video if you want to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Hadley, you did it! You finished coloring your myrmicorn, and your drawing is always my favorite. Thanks. 
Now you guys can pause the video right now to match the same coloring. We use markers to color our drawings, but you could use whatever you have at home. Now we also use a white colored pencil. What's that for? Highlights. Yeah, the highlight. We went back over our drawing to make our unicorns, our myrmicorns look shiny. shiny. Yeah. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your myrmicorns. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. This month we're helping the YouTube Kids app celebrate its birthday. How old is it? Five. Yeah, five years old. And today I thought it would be fun to draw who? Flame Mellow. Flame Mellow, yeah. He's one of the characters at the beginning when you open up the app. Yeah. It, he's a marshmallow that's on fire. <laughs> one of my favorites. <laughs> we hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need something to draw with. We're using markers, some paper, and... Something to color with. Something to color with. All right, let's start. Mm, yeah. <laughs> We're first gonna draw his mouth. We're gonna draw it over here in the middle of our paper, but a little to the left. And we're drawing a rainbow line. It, you could draw maybe right about here. Now we're gonna draw the bottom of his mouth. We're gonna draw a little curve that comes underneath and then connects to the other side. <laughs> He's gonna look a little worried. <laughs> now we're gonna draw his teeth. Let's draw two lines right down the middle. Yep, and then we're gonna draw a line that connects to the outside on the left and then also on the right. Okay, let's also draw his tongue. We're gonna draw another rainbow line inside. And then let's color in the center shape. We're gonna leave the teeth white and also the tongue. Now let's draw his eyes. We're gonna draw a little oval on the left side and we can color it in. And then do the same thing on the right side. Same shape, same size. Now we're gonna draw his body and he's a marshmallow. This is gonna be fun. We're gonna start over here on the left side of his eye and let's put a little point. Then we're gonna draw another point over here, but we're gonna draw a bigger space or leave a bigger space right here all the way over for the other side of his body. Yes, now we're gonna draw the top of his marshmallow head. We're gonna come up like this and we're gonna curve around to the other side and then we're gonna come back down and connect to that point on the other side. Yeah, good job. Now we're gonna draw his arms. We're gonna start right here and we're gonna draw a big, looks like the letter L or a backwards J a little bit. Goes underneath his mouth. Then we're gonna draw a smaller one right next to it, like that. There's this, the inside of his arm, and then we can connect the top down to the bottom. Okay, now let's do that same shape, same lines over here, but we're just gonna draw them in the middle of his body. So I'm gonna draw a small little, looks like a J, letter J. And then we're gonna draw a bigger one that goes around the outside, just like we did over here, but flipped. Yeah, and then we can connect the top down to the bottom. There's his two arms. Now we're gonna draw the bottom of his body. We're gonna start right underneath his arm and we're gonna draw a curve that curves around like this and back down underneath the other arm. We don't wanna get too wide. Yeah, now we're gonna draw the rest of his body. We're gonna draw a little curve right here coming down and then stop. Yeah, now let's draw his legs. We're gonna draw a bent line. Comes down and then bends back. <laughs> then we can draw another one right next to it for the other side of his leg. Okay, and then let's draw his foot. It's just a small little bump and then connect to the other line. Okay, let's repeat that same step for his other leg. He's so tall. <laughs> You're, yeah, that's okay. Yours is a little taller than mine, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I think he looks awesome. Now, we're going to... It's okay that our two drawings look different, right? Yeah. Most important thing is... To have fun. Yeah, if your drawing's looking a little different than ours, that's okay. Remember to have fun and to... Practice. Practice. All right. <laughs> let's finish his other leg. So we got those two bent lines, just like we did over here. Now let's draw that little bump for his foot and then connect it to the other side. Now let's draw the rest of his body. See this line right here? We're gonna imagine it going behind his leg and then connecting to the other leg. Looks like one line that comes all the way through. Then we're gonna draw the rest of his body. We're gonna imagine it going behind this leg, coming out and then coming up and connecting. So we're gonna come out like this 
and then up and connect. All right, we did it. We drew our marshmallow. It our... looks like two marshmallows together. <laughs> he's a little tall. That's okay. Maybe this one plays basketball. Yeah. <laughs> now he's missing something though. He just looks like a regular marshmallow. What's yeah. he missing? Fire. Yeah, fire on top of his head. <laughs> We're gonna draw. It's his hair. It's yeah. It does look like his hair. We're gonna draw a big curve that comes out from the top of his head. Yeah, and then right at the end, let's curve up. Then we're gonna curve back down, just a little one. And then we're gonna draw a big curve coming back up further. And then this one's gonna be big coming back down. All right, now let's start down here and we're gonna draw the other side of the fire. We're gonna curve up like that, right next to it. So we're gonna curve up to there. And then right at the end, we're gonna curve out. Now we're gonna connect this line over here to this side. We're gonna curve up and then curve back the other way. It looks like an S curve. <laughs> now let's draw the fire inside. So this is the orange part. Let's draw the yellow part inside. So we're gonna draw another curve that matches that first curve we drew. See how it looks like the same curve but smaller? Then we're gonna draw a zigzag line, comes down and then back up. And then we're gonna draw, right here, we're gonna draw another curve, comes down and connects in back into the marshmallow. And we did it. We finished drawing Flame Mellow. Yeah. He looks really cool, except we're not done. What do we still need to do? Color it. Yeah, we need to color them. This part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you guys can pause the video to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Awesome, give me five. You did such a great job on coloring Flame Mellow. I love how he turned out. I especially love the fire. And what's this dark spot that we added on the bottom of the marshmallow? Shading. Yeah, shading or shadow. And what does that make the marshmallow look? Uh, 3D. It makes it look more 3D. Yeah, it looks awesome. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your marshmallow on fire. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey art friends, we're helping the YouTube Kids app celebrate together time during the holidays. Mm -hmm. And what better way to celebrate together time than doing art? Yes. What are we gonna draw today? Flame Mellow. Yeah, Flame Mellow hanging out in a cup of hot chocolate. Just chilling. Yeah, just chilling. <laughs> we hope you're gonna follow along with us and celebrate together time. What do we need for this lesson? A marker and a pencil. Yeah, and some? Paper and something to color with. All right, let's start. Okay. We're first gonna use our pencil and this is so we can draw a guideline for our first shape. We're gonna draw an oval. We're gonna start in the middle and draw a really wide oval. This is for the top of our hot chocolate mug. I'm gonna go back over it so that our art friends can see it. I'm pressing really hard, but you guys at home can press lightly so that it's easier to erase. Now this is the top of our mug. We're gonna draw the hot chocolate next. We're gonna draw another curve inside that matches the top of our oval. I'm gonna go back over it again, just to make it darker. Yes, that's the hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're done with our guidelines. So we're gonna put our pencil off to the side and switch to our marker. <laughs> now let's draw a flame mellow hanging out in the hot chocolate. We're gonna draw an upside down U. I'm gonna start in the middle of the hot chocolate and we're gonna draw a curve that comes up like this. We're gonna come around, and then right here at the end, we're gonna come back down and then connect. It's a funny shape. Uh, yeah, it's an upside down U. <laughs> okay, now right here, we're gonna draw the line coming down past the hot chocolate. And we're gonna do the same thing over here on this side. Just barely past the hot chocolate. And then we can draw the bottom that part that's going into the hot chocolate, a little curve. <laughs> now let's- It probably feels like a hot tub. It does feel like a hot tub to flame mellow. <laughs> <laughs> let's switch back to our pencil, but this time we're gonna use the eraser and we're gonna erase all of the guidelines inside of the marshmallow shape. If we ever go too fast or you need extra time to finish this step, remember you can pause the video. 
All right, now let's switch back to our marker and we're ready to draw Flame Mellow's face. We're gonna, he's really chilling. We're gonna draw, <laughs> a, we're gonna draw a little smile right in the middle of the marshmallow shape. Just a small one. This is for the top of his mouth. Then we're gonna draw, turn it into a jelly bean shape. We're gonna come down like this, around and back up and connect on the other side. He's like, ah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I also make that noise when I'm in the hot tub. Me too. <laughs> now let's draw a tooth right here on this side and also a tooth over here on the right side. And then we can also add, you got it? Oh, there you go. Now we can draw the tongue. We're gonna draw a little curve at the bottom. Now let's draw his eyes. We're gonna draw the letter U on the left side and the letter, letter U over here on the right side. His eyes are closed. He's gonna go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> then let's draw a little line up here at the top, just for a little extra detail. Okay, now we need to draw his arms coming out and hang, they're just like relaxing on the edge of the mug. <laughs> so there's one sideways U shape. Then we can draw another sideways U shape over here. And I'm gonna curve this one with kind of the- Around the bowl. Yeah, around the mug, like that. <laughs> now let's draw his head on fire. Flame, that's why he's called Flame Mellow. <laughs> He's on fire. So we're gonna draw a little fire right here. We're gonna draw a curve coming out here and also a curve going the other direction on the side. So two little curves. There you go. Then we'll draw a short diagonal line coming back down on each side. Then we're gonna draw a bigger curve that comes up in the middle and then back down and connect to the other side. That's the inside of the fire. Now let's draw the outside. We're gonna draw a bigger curve coming up higher. And we can do the same thing over here. This side, maybe I'll make it come up a little shorter. And then we'll do that little diagonal line coming back down on each side. The pointy part. Yeah, the little, yeah, the flames from the fire. And then we're gonna draw another curve that comes up a little higher in the middle. And then we're gonna curve all the way back down and connect to the other side. Whee! Yeah. <laughs> We did it, his head's on fire. Next, we're ready to finish the mug of hot chocolate. First, we're gonna draw this curve right here. We're gonna trace over the pencil, the guideline, come all the way around, and I'm gonna connect to his arm on this side. There you go, keep going. And? Connect. Connect. And then we're gonna draw the hot chocolate. We'll trace over that line too. And then I have a little spot over here on this side too. All right, now let's switch back to our pencil and we're gonna use the eraser one more time to erase the rest of the pencil lines. Okay. Remember to pause the video if you need extra time to erase those lines. Now let's draw the outside of our mug. We'll start here on the arm and we're gonna come Oh, all... I have my pencil. Oh yeah, you need a switch. <laughs> We're gonna draw a curve that comes all the way around. It's gonna match that the oval shape. And I'm gonna stop right here. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here on this side. Draw a curve that comes around and then stop I right could there. start from his head. Oh yeah, right yours is a little different. That's cool. I like that yours is slightly different. Thank you. It's still turning out awesome. It's also okay if your drawings are a little different than ours too, because I'm sure they're turning out really cool. Mm -hmm. The most important thing is- To have fun. And to- Practice. Yeah, remember to practice. Okay, let's draw the rest of our mug. We're gonna start over here on the left side and we're gonna draw a big curve. It's gonna come around. This part's a little tricky. I bet you can do it. Well, look how big. Then I'm gonna keep going all the way around to the other side. Done. Oh, we did it. Good job. Now it's a bowl. It does look like a bowl. Let's add a handle to make it look like a mug. We're gonna start here on the right and we'll draw a curve, comes out. Looks like half of a heart. Curves around and then connects down here. Then we're gonna repeat that same curve, but at the end, watch this, we'll come around. Right here at the end, we're gonna leave a little space. And then we're gonna draw a U-shape right here at the end. 
Next, let's add the details to our mug, make it look like a holiday mug. <laughs> we'll start here. We're going to draw a stripe. This curve, try to make it match the top of the mug. And that makes it look 3D. Now we're going to add another line right below it to match and create the stripe. Draw all the way over to the other side. Yes. Now let's add a little snowflake design right here in the middle. I'm going to draw a plus. Plus. A plus. And then we're going to draw an X over it. Then let's draw a circle over here on the left and over here on the right. Okay, now let's add the same snowflake shape. We'll draw a plus and then an X. And one over here too. Just repeat the same steps. Okay, let's add one more circle on the outside. We did it. Okay, now let's add the same stripe below. So we'll start here. I'll draw the same curve that matches, go all the way over to the other side. And then that one more line below that one. All the way over and connect. Done. Done. We did it. We finished drawing Flame Mellow. He looks really cool, except we're not completely done. We still need to cover him. Yeah, my favorite part. We're going to fast forward again, but at the end, you can pause the video to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Hallie, give me five. I love your drawing all colored in. It turned out perfect. Thank you. Now you guys can pause the video right now to match our same coloring. I especially love your little marshmallow. He really looks like he's chilling. Mm -hmm. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your flame mellow. Yeah, we do. And we hope you had fun celebrating together time. We love drawing with you. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye. Hey, our friends, today we're going to draw a superhero. Yeah, a real life superhero. A doctor. A doctor. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You need something to draw with. We're going to use markers. You need some paper and... Something to color with. All right, let's start. Yeah. Let's first draw our doctor's nose. I'm going to draw an oval shape in the middle of my paper. Then we're going to draw the left eye. We're going to draw a circle. Over here, and the right eye, and then circle the same size on the right. Good job. All right, now let's draw a smaller circle in the top left. And then let's color in the big circle, but leave the little circle white. Oh, you're adding eyelashes. Good job. <laughs> you could draw a girl doctor, and I'll draw a boy doctor. Oh, yeah. All right, let's draw the shape of our doctor's face. We'll draw a U shape. I'm going to start over here on the left, and I'm going to draw the U that comes under, and then back up over here on the right. And we're going to draw and leave some space here so that we can draw a mask. Perfect. Now let's draw the ears. We're going to draw one C shape over here and a backward C over here. And I'm drawing them right in line with the eye. Okay, now let's draw the mask. We're going to draw a curve that comes under the eye around and then back up over here and connect to the ear. So I start at the top of the ear, curve down and then back up. Yeah. All right. Now let's draw the mask. I'm going to draw a line down on the left and also over here on the right. Okay. Let's add one more line and we're going to connect to the bottom of the ear. So connect to the mask and then to the bottom of the ear. So we'll also do a line over here on this side too. All right, now let's draw the top of their head. We're going to draw a curve that goes up, over, and then back down. It looks like a upside down U. Let's give them a hat and also some hair. Yeah. So we're going to start here and we're going to draw a curve that goes over their eyes and across. Good. And then we could also draw little wrinkles at the bottom of the hat. Now let's also draw a curve right here that connects the hat to the ear. This is for the hair. It's kind of sticking out on the side. We'll draw a curve on this side too. Now on yours, you could add more hair, but let's do that at the very end. Okay. Okay. Let's draw their body next. Let's draw 
line down on each side. Then let's connect the, those two lines at the bottom. We have a rectangle shape. Then we could also draw a neck line, draw a little curve underneath the chin. And we could also draw their name tag. Let's draw the letter L on the right side. Then we can draw an upside down L to connect the top down to the bottom. Okay, we could also, let's draw the little like clip that's holding it to their, their doctor clothes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's draw their legs. We're gonna draw a tall letter U for one leg and another one for the other leg. And then we could draw their doctor shoes. We'll draw a line across the bottom. Now let's draw them waving to us. And we're gonna draw a curve coming up. And I'm gonna draw another curve right next to that one. And then we can connect their sleeve. And let's draw another line right next to it. Okay, now let's draw their hand. We're gonna draw a simple hand. We'll draw an upside down small U for the thumb. And then we'll draw a big sideways U for the rest of their hand. All right, now they're missing another arm. Let's draw them hanging onto a clipboard. Oh yeah. With important information on it. <laughs> we're gonna draw a diagonal line coming out and up. And then we'll draw another shorter diagonal line coming down. All right, and then let's draw another one coming down. Now this one matches the first one we drew. See how they're running parallel? And then right here at the end, let's draw one going back up. So it looks like a rectangle shape, but we're using overlapping because the clipboard is behind the doctor. Mm -hmm. Then we can also use more overlapping. Let's draw the arm that's holding onto the clipboard. We'll just draw a diagonal line that comes so down. So it's and not connects. just flo floating yeah. on their body. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> floating clipboard. Okay. <laughs> now let's draw the details on the clipboard. We're gonna draw a little rectangle shape up at the top. That's the clip holding the paper to the board. And then let's draw the paper. I'm just gonna draw a line that matches the outside shape of the clipboard. I'll come over here and do the same thing. And then right at the end, I'm gonna draw a little one going up. All right, then we could also draw- um, Information. Yeah, information on the clipboard. <laughs> I kind of wonder if they actually use clipboards anymore. They probably use computers and iPads oh, yeah. <laughs> and stuff, but that's okay. <laughs> Let's also draw a little U right here for the doctor's hand hanging on to it. Oh, did you, it looks like you added a little smiley face <laughs> down there at the bottom. <laughs> I tried to. <laughs> All right, Ellie, we did it. We finished drawing our doctor, except you're not completely done. You can, oh, yeah. you could draw longer hair if you want to draw a line coming down. There you go. And it could, yeah, more overlapping. And then you could draw the same thing over here on this side. Oh, it's perfect. You did such a great job, except we're not completely done. We still need to do one important step. Color them. Yeah, we need to color them. <laughs> this part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Great job on coloring your doctor. It turned out perfect. And I realized that this works well for a nurse drawing too. Oh yeah, it does. Let's call our drawings health heroes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can also turn this into a thank you card. That would be the best. I think that's an awesome idea, Hetley. Parents, we think it would be really cool if you found a way to send a photo of your child's finished drawing to somebody that is serving your community. We're so grateful for all of the health heroes in the communities all over the world. Mm -hmm. We love you guys so much, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Hey, Aunt Fred Sarah, we're gonna draw a Pokeball. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along with us. We always hope you follow along, because art is always better with... Friends. Friends. All right, what do they need for this lesson? A marker, some paper, and something to color with. Yeah, you don't have to use a marker, but we like using markers. Yeah. All right, you ready to start? Yeah. We're first gonna draw a circle in the middle of our paper, and I'm gonna draw it kind of big. Now you could use a template if you wanted to. You could trace around a bowl or a cup, but we're trying to practice drawing a circle by drawing, oh, look at that, I went even bigger on the top. That's okay, right? Yeah. 
most important thing is? To have fun. Have fun and to practice. Practice. Let's see you draw a circle. I like it. You did a great job. Okay, we we're going to draw a couple more circles. Let's draw another one in the middle that's smaller. And I'm going to draw it about this size. Now I'm going to draw another circle around that one. I'm going to come out a little further around and connect. Good job. Next, we're going to turn our paper sideways. This is going to help us draw lines or straight lines through our Pokeball. We're first going to draw a straight line right down the middle. Now this is so it can help us. This is a guideline. Then we're going to draw, we're going to imagine that line going through the middle and then coming out the bottom or the other side. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to draw two more lines, one on each side of these first lines we drew. So I'm going to draw another one over here and then I'm going to imagine it coming through and coming down to the other side. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to draw another line right next to it and then come down and draw another line right next to that one. Good job. Now let's turn our paper back this way and we're going to draw one more circle, a really small circle in the very middle, right there. Next, we're going to use our black marker and we're going to color in this, this shape over here on the left and also the right. So the, the part that goes right through the middle. And then we're also going to color in this outer circle. This part we're going to fast forward, but you guys at home can pause the video and take time to color these shapes in also. Awesome, we have one last step left to do. What is it? Color it. Yeah, we need to color our Pokeballs. It's really just red on the top. Yeah. But we're also gonna add some shading and also highlights to make it look more 3D. Now this part, we're, we are gonna fast forward one more time, but remember to pause the video and take time to color your drawings also. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. And give me five. I love how your Pokeball turned out all colored in. Now we left this little white spot over here. What's that called? Highlight. And what does the highlight do to the Pokeball? Make it look shiny. And then what's this dark part over here? A shadow. The shadow. And what does that do? It makes it look 3D. It does. It looks super 3D. You did a great job and you can be super proud of your drawing. We hope you have a lot of fun drawing your Pokeball. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun and I'm sure your drawings turned out really cool. We'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, art friends, today we're going to draw a stitch. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along. You need something to draw with, some paper, and... Something to color with. Something to color with. Let's start. Okay. We're first going to draw the shape of Stitch's head right in the middle of our paper. We're going to draw a big upside down U. Yeah. Now we're going to draw the bottom of his head we're going to draw a little curve for his cheek over here, but look, this curve is flat. It's more flat than um, like a U shape. It comes across. It's not straight. It's got a little curve. There we go. Good job. Now let's draw his nose. We're going to draw a big nose right in the middle of his head. We're going to draw a U shape. Kind of looks like a V though. There's a little point at the bottom. Yeah. Then at the top, let's draw a curve to finish his nose. We could also draw little nostrils down at the bottom on each side. They just barely, you could barely see them on each side. Now let's draw his eyes. We're gonna draw a big circle over here on the left and a big circle over here on the right. <laughs> yeah, and now we can also draw a little circle in the top of each of his eyes. This is to make his eyes look shiny. Highlight. A highlight, yeah. Then let's color in the big circle, but leave those little circles white. Next, let's draw his mouth. We're gonna draw a little curve that looks like he's frowning, right in the middle. Mm -hmm. But don't go too far to the, <laughs> yeah, just, Kind of a short curve in the middle. 
We're gonna make him look like he's smiling. And then right at the end, on each side, we're gonna curve back up. Curves back up right at the end. And we'll do the same thing over here. I'm gonna turn my paper sideways. There we go. Now he looks happy. And then we can give him little cheek lines on each side. Yeah, let's also give him two little wrinkles, a small one and then an even smaller one above it. This one may be a little bigger. There we go. Yeah, now we could also give him eyebrows. Let's draw an upside down U over the left eye and then also over the right eye. And the eyebrows connect to the outside shape. Yeah. Now we're gonna draw my favorite part, his ears. We're gonna start right here next to his cheek. We're gonna draw a big curve that comes up. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here on the right side. Big curve coming up. Then for the top of his ear, we're gonna draw an upside down U shape. Then we're gonna draw a sideways V. There's like a little notch taken out of his ear. Kind of like a little cut or something. Yeah, almost like he got bit by an, <laughs> another animal or alien. Now we're gonna draw the rest of his ear coming down and connecting into his cheek. Yeah, let's repeat that same step over here for his other ear. We're gonna draw the top of his ear upside down U. On this side, we're gonna draw his ear coming down further, like we're gonna connect it into his cheek, just like we did over here. But then we're gonna draw a upside down V. So same kind of thing, but it's down here lower. Then we're gonna connect it into his cheek. All right, now let's make his ears look more 3D. We're gonna start up here on top of his ear. We're gonna trace, come down a little further like that, and then connect it in. Then let's do the same thing on the outside of his ear. We'll trace it down a little ways and then connect it in. Yeah, good job. Let's do that same step over here on the right side. We'll start up here, trace down, and then come lower on his cheek. And then we don't have very much room over here to trace, we'll just connect it back up. Now let's add one more thing to his head, and that's the little hair sticking out of the top of his head. I'm gonna draw a diagonal line, and then we can draw a little zigzag coming down and connecting to his head. All right, Hallie, we did it. We finished drawing his head. Now let's draw his the rest of his body and also his arms. We'll start here next to his chin and we're gonna draw a curve that comes down. We'll do another one over here on this side. <laughs> then we're gonna draw a big raindrop shape. We're gonna come down, curve around, and then back up. Yes. Oh, perfect. We're gonna do the same thing on the right side for his other arm. We're gonna come down, around, and we can kind of touch if we want, and then come back up. He kind of looks like a stuffed animal. Yeah, <laughs> kind of does. Now let's add his little claws sticking out. We're gonna draw three curved Vs sticking out the bottom for his hand, each hand. <laughs> Two, three. There we go. We could also add a little zigzag for the fur on his chest. And then we can also draw the bottom of his body in between his two arms down here. Yeah. All right, now he's sitting down, so let's draw his back legs. We'll draw a curve right here. We're going to come out, curve around, and then back in. Let's do the same thing over here. That looks like the letter C. Let's do a backward C over here. Out, around, and then connect back in. <laughs> now let's add his little toes. I'm gonna draw four little claws sticking out. And we'll do the same thing on this side. One, two, three, four. Then let's draw a smaller circle inside of each foot for his paw, the bottom of his paw. And then we could also draw his knees. 
I'm gonna draw a little bump right here and also a little bump over here. We did it, Helly, we finished drawing Stitch. He looks really cool, except he's gonna look even cooler once we do what? Color him. Yeah, we need to color him. This part we're gonna fast forward again, but you guys can pause the video at the end to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah, I yeah. am. Give me five! You did such a great job on coloring Stitch. Now you guys can pause the video right now to match the same coloring. We used markers, but you guys could use whatever you have at home or in your classroom. Now we use three different types of blue. We use a dark blue for his... Nose and claws. Nose and claws, yeah. And we use a medium blue, a regular blue for his body, and a light blue for his eyes, and also underneath his mouth, mm -hmm. and for his chest his chest and belly. Now we also added a few extra things. We added a tongue. I drew mine going down and you drew yours going up. <laughs> and we also drew one little line that connects his nose to his mouth. Now it's okay that our two drawings look a little different, right? They both turned out awesome. And it's okay if your drawings look different than ours because the most important thing is to have fun and to practice. practice. <laughs> I'm sure your drawings turned out really cool. We'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Bye -bye. Hey, art friends. Today's lesson is sponsored by Paramount Pictures. We're super excited because they asked us to help them celebrate the release of what movie? Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, parents, it's available to purchase today on digital. You can watch it together as a family at home, which is super awesome. And you can eat your popcorn. Yeah, you can eat your pop. Of course you can eat your popcorn. <laughs> If you haven't seen this movie yet, we highly recommend it. What was one of your favorite parts in the movie? When Sonic saved the turtle and was running super fast. And then the turtle was like, Aah. One of my favorite parts was when the big robot was attacking him and then they kept blowing it up and then it kept getting smaller and smaller <laughs> until it was really little. And then it like cut the top of their truck off. It made a funny <laughs> noise. It was like, Wee. Yeah. <laughs> we hope you're going to follow along with us because who are we going to draw? Sonic! Yeah, we're gonna draw Sonic, and we're gonna draw him looking like he's running right out of our paper. Mm -hmm. You need something to draw with. We, we're gonna use markers, mm -hmm. but you could use whatever you have at home. Yeah. You also need some paper and... Something to color with. All right, let's start. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's first draw Sonic's nose right in the middle of our paper, but towards the top, so that we have room for his body below. We're gonna draw an upside down U shape, but we're gonna draw it small. Really small upside down U. <laughs> There you go. Then we're gonna connect the bottom and we're gonna color in the shape. Looks like a gumdrop. Oh yeah, a black <laughs> gumdrop. Yeah. <laughs> now let's draw his eyes and we're gonna draw him kind of angry because he's <laughs> concentrating. He's trying to run super fast. So we're gonna draw a little line that comes down right above his nose. And then we're gonna draw a diagonal line going up. Now this diagonal line, it kind of looks like a check mark, right? Ching. Yeah. Then we're going to do the same thing on the left side. And we want it to look the same on the left and also on the right. Now at the end of each eyebrow, let's draw a small curve coming down on both sides. <laughs> next, we're going to draw his eyeball shape. We're going to draw a short line that comes down right next to his nose. We're going to draw it coming down on both sides. There we go. And then we're gonna draw the, we're gonna draw the outside. We're gonna start here. We're gonna curve around and then we're gonna come back into that little, that little line that we drew coming down close to his nose. And we'll do the same thing on the right side. Draw a curve that comes down and then we're gonna connect into that line. Now let's draw his pupils. We're gonna draw a oval shape or a U shape inside. And then we're gonna draw another one over here on the right. Don't touch the bottom. Yeah, we're gonna, yeah, we're only drawing part of the oval because it's overlapping his eyebrow. And then we're gonna come close to the very bottom. Then we're gonna draw another oval inside, but color that shape in. We'll do the same thing on both sides. Oh, he's already starting to look like Sonic. Now let's draw his mouth. We're gonna start really close to his eye. And we're gonna draw a curve that comes down and then we're gonna stop under his nose. He, he's smiling kind of on the side of his face. <laughs> then we're gonna give him a cheek line over here on the left. Cheek line. Now we're ready to draw the shape of his head. We're gonna start just above his eyebrow on the left side and we're gonna draw a U shape. Watch this, we're gonna get 
really close to his mouth for his chin. And then we're gonna come back up on the other side and we're gonna stop at the same height as we did where we started. Now this side could come up just a little bit to match your left side. Oh yeah. There you go. Now let's draw his cheeks. We're gonna draw a little curve over here. We'll connect his cheek to his eye and then we'll do the same thing on the right side. Now it's really starting to look like Sonic. Mm -hmm. Let's draw his ears next. We're gonna draw a diagonal line that comes up on both sides. And we're gonna turn these into upside down V's. So we're gonna curve the top and then we're gonna come back down. And we'll do the same thing over here. Curve at the very top and then come back down. So it doesn't have pointy ears. Yeah, not too pointy. Yeah, the little round corner at the top. Yeah, so they don't look like the spikes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah spikes are pointy. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna draw that same shape inside but smaller on both sides. And then we'll connect the bottom. Okay, now let's draw the spikes to make him look like a hedgehog. We're gonna start right here on his ear. So we're gonna imagine the shape of his head coming behind his ear and starting here. And we could also put another little point over here on the right side. Now we're gonna connect these two points with another, kind of looks like an, a V or upside down V with a round corner at the top also. So this is his, the top spike, the really tall spike that's on the back of his head. All right, good job, I like it. <laughs> no, it's okay that our two drawings look a little different, right? Yeah. The most important thing is? To have fun. Yes, and to? Practice. Practice. Okay, now let's draw another spike on each side of his head. So we're gonna start here. We're gonna go about halfway up the center spike, and we're gonna draw a curve that comes down and connects to his ear. It's actually going behind his ear, so let's imagine that line going behind, coming out the bottom, and then we're gonna draw a diagonal line that connects to his head. Now let's do that same thing over here on the right side. Go behind his ear, comes out the bottom, and then a diagonal line that connects in. Yeah, all right, now let's do another spike below that one. We're gonna draw another curve that comes down and then connects into his head. Down. Down and then connect it. And then same thing over here, curve down and then a diagonal line back. All right, we did it. Now let's draw his body. We're gonna first start by drawing his belly. We're gonna draw a U shape, the letter U. Look at this. It's below his chin, but we're gonna leave a little space on both sides. That's for his arms. Good. Now we're gonna draw two more points. We're gonna come over here right next to the spike and we're gonna draw a point just below the spike. And we'll do the same thing over here, just below the spike. Now this is a guide point, so we're gonna put it right about here. So pretty close to the spike, and then we're gonna do the same thing over here on this side. That's gonna give us a target. Yeah. So we're gonna start right here where his armpit would be, and we're gonna curve up and connect to that point. And then let's do the same thing on the right side. Curve up and connect to the point. All right, now we can draw a little curve that connects to the spike on both sides. So this is his arm, and that's his wrist on both sides. And then you can oh, yeah. do one here too. Now let's draw his gloves. We'll start over here on the right side, and we're gonna draw a big curve that comes around his wrist and then connects back in. And let's repeat that same step over here. Curves around and back into his wrist. Next, we're gonna draw his fist. We're gonna draw his hands closed. So we're gonna draw his thumb first. We'll draw a U shape, comes out of his glove, the, his wrist, comes back up. And then right at the end, let's curve back the other way. Yeah. Okay, now let's draw his knuckles. We're gonna draw, hey, knuckles. Oh yeah. <laughs> we're gonna draw a diagonal line that comes out of his wrist up here. Then let's draw a bumpy line, three bumps. One, two, three. So go over, yeah, one, one two, two, and a big, yeah, a big one. Three. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're gonna connect that into his thumb down here. Oh, good job, <laughs> I like his fist, you did a great job. Now let's do the same thing over here. That part's a little tricky and that's okay. We're practicing. Mm -hmm. We're gonna draw that same, repeat the same steps. So the letter U, small letter U, 
Then we'll draw a curve going the other direction. Then we're going to draw a diagonal line coming out. Then we're going to draw three bumps. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then connect it down to his thumb. Now let's draw his belly. We're going to draw an upside down U right here. Next, we can draw his legs. We're going to draw one of his legs bent behind his body. So we're going to draw a long letter U, a tall, and it's kind of coming off to the side. Then we're going to draw his other leg coming out straight. So we're going to draw one line coming down, diagonal. Then we're going to draw another line. And now I'm going to get a little wider towards the bottom since it's coming closer to us. Yeah. All right, now let's draw his socks. We're gonna draw an upside down U shape that connects those two lines for his front leg. <laughs> Good job. And then we can draw a line that's gonna connect the bottom, but I'm gonna keep going past his socks. Yeah, and then let's draw his heel coming straight down, but it's a curve. Then we're going to draw the bottom of his shoe. So we'll draw another line that comes straight across. And then up here at the top, we're going to draw a curve comes out a little bit and then it's going to connect back. So just come down. There you go. And then connect back to his heel. That's the outside shape of his foot. Let's add the extra detail. So it looks like his running shoes. Yeah. We're going to draw a curve right here at the top. We're going to draw a curve that comes down. And then we're going to draw another curve that bumps out to this little corner on the side. Next, let's draw a circle or an oval shape right here. And then on the back of his foot, we're going to draw an upside down U. Next, let's draw it. He has a white stripe going down the side of his shoe. Next, we're ready to draw his other shoe that's behind his body. Yeah. Okay, let's draw the sock first like we did on the right foot. We're going to draw a little curve right here. It's behind his body. It's, so we're drawing a lot of overlapping. We're going to draw another curve on this side. Okay, now let's draw his shoe. We'll draw a line coming out of his knee. And then we're going to curve back up and connect to his leg. Let's repeat that last line right next to it. We'll draw another curve going up and connecting to his leg. And then we got to draw that white stripe on his shoe. So we'll draw a little one from his sock. And then we'll draw another one right below that one. All right, Hadley, we did it. We finished drawing Sonic, except we're not completely done. We still need to do my favorite step. This part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah! Hadley, we did it! We finished coloring and drawing Sonic. Did you have fun? Yes, I did. <laughs> I hope our art friends are gonna take time to pause the video and color their drawings also. We use markers to color our drawings, but you could use whatever you have at home. You could use colored pencils. Oil pastels. Yeah, or even crayons. Or paint. Oh yeah, paint would be really cool. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And parents, remember you can purchase the movie today on digital, it's available. We love you guys, and we also want to say thank you to Paramount for allowing us to draw Sonic. Mm -hmm. This was super fun. Yeah. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Hey, our friends, too, we're going to draw a Pokeball. Yeah, we're going to draw a folding surprise. That means when you open it up, there's going to be a Pokemon inside. And which one should we put inside? Pikachu! Yeah, we're going to draw Pikachu, but you could really just draw any Pokemon you want. Now, for this lesson, you need something to draw with. We're going to use markers. You also need some... Paper and something to color with. Yeah. All right. You ready to start? Yeah. All right. Now, we actually don't need to use the markers first. We're going to fold our paper first. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, we're gonna take the top edge and we're gonna fold it down to the bottom edge. Line it up and then crease it right down the middle and then out to the corners. Good job. Now let's take that top flap and we're gonna fold it back up to the top. Line it up and then crease it down the middle out to the corners. Oh, Whoa. that's okay. It's a little not lined. <laughs> Not quite lined up, but that's okay, right? Yeah. We just realign it and then crease it down the middle first. Here, go down the middle and then out to the edge. Put both fingers, there you go, good job. Okay, now we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna repeat that same step. We're gonna take that top flap, line it up at the top and then down the middle and then out to the corners. Boop, down the middle. There you go. Now we're gonna take that top flap and unfold it. Good job, and then we can flip it over. Now we're ready for our scratch paper. We're gonna put this underneath our drawing paper because we're using markers and we don't want our marker to bleed through the paper and get onto the table. Now we're ready to use our markers. We're gonna draw a circle for the Pokeball and half of the circle is gonna be above this fold and the other half is gonna be below the fold. So it might be a little easier if you start by just drawing half of the circle first on the top. You could start, yeah, right about there. Draw a big upside down U shape. Yeah, and that's okay if our circles look a little different, right? Yeah. And we're gonna draw the bottom circle or the bottom half of the circle coming down here and connecting over to the other side also. Good job, buddy. Big. That's okay. There's a little more up here than there is down at the bottom. What's the most important thing? To have food. And to? Practice. Practice. Yeah, we could do this whole lesson over again. And the next time, I promise, it'll turn out even better than the first time. All right, should we keep going? Yeah. Let's draw another circle, a smaller circle, right here. Now, half is going to be on the top, and then the other half is going to be below the fold. Good job. Oh, you're doing such a good job, man. Now I'm gonna draw another circle that just goes barely, it goes right next to the one that we just drew. Right next to it, all the way around. Now I'm gonna turn my paper a little this way so it makes it easier. And I'm gonna draw a line that's above the fold and below the fold. There you go. And then we can do the same thing on the right side above the fold and just barely below the fold. All right, now let's color in. We're gonna color in in between these two lines and also in between our two circles. Now you already kind of <laughs> colored in your side lines, that's okay. Now we're gonna fast forward this part, but you guys can pause the video and take time to color in those parts also. We finished drawing our Pokeball, Austin. Now we're ready to open up our drawing. We're gonna have half of it up here at the top and half down here at the bottom. Yeah, go ahead and flatten out those folds. That'll make it a little easier to draw on. The next part we're gonna do is draw our Pokemon. Now we wanna make sure that we're drawing everything below the top fold and above the bottom fold. That way, when we fold it back up, it's gonna be inside. Is that cool? Yeah. Now, which Pokemon are we gonna draw again? Pikachu. Yeah, Pikachu. Let's first draw, we're gonna keep this really simple. We're, let's first draw his uh, head. We're just gonna draw half of them sticking up. <laughs> so we're gonna draw an upside down U shape. I'm gonna draw it like this. We're gonna come up, around, and back down. <laughs> Good, then let's draw his ears. I'm gonna draw a curve that comes out to the side like this. There you go. You could actually draw bigger. Pikachu has kind of long bunny ears. Oh yeah. <laughs> then we're gonna draw a curve that comes back and connects to his head and we'll leave a little space in between where we started. Yeah, let's do, let's repeat that same step over here, I'm gonna draw the same curve line coming off to the side and then coming back to his head. Next on his ears, we're gonna draw a curve, comes down and we're gonna draw that same curve over here on this side. Next, let's color in these two shapes.
What should we draw next? His eyes. Okay, let's draw a circle over here on the left and a circle over here on the right. There you go. Another circle. Then we're gonna draw a smaller circle in the top left of each eye. And then let's color in the big circle but leave the little circles white. Remember to pause the video if you need extra time. Now what should we draw? His mouth. His mouth. Let's draw a curved W in between his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna draw him really happy. I'm gonna draw a big <laughs> U shape that comes down. He's really excited to jump out of the Pokeball. <laughs> <laughs> He's ready to attack. And then we're gonna draw his tongue inside. Now what are we missing? His cheeks. Okay, let's draw a half circle. On the left, I'm gonna draw a C-shape, backward C-shape, and a frontward C-shape over here. Okay, now let's draw his arms because he really is excited yeah. to jump out of the Pokeball. <laughs> we're gonna draw an upside down U. We're gonna start here on the side of his body, come up, and then we're gonna come back down. Yeah, then let's do the same thing over here on the right. And we wanna make sure that we don't go below this bottom fold. All right, we did it. We finished drawing our Pokeball folding surprise, except we're still not done. What do we still need to do? Color it. Yeah, we need to color it. Color this, it. <laughs> this is my favorite part. Now we are gonna fast forward one more time, but remember at the end, you can pause the video again to match the same color. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Awesome, we did it. We finished coloring our Pokeball. Now we added this white little circle up at the top. What is that called? Highlight. Yeah, it's a highlight, and that makes our Pokeball look shiny. I also added this dark part over here, or shading. That makes my Pokeball look... 3D. More 3D, yeah, but you could leave that off to keep the lesson a little easier. Now we also need to show our friends what's inside, although they know it's Pikachu, right? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, on the count of three, let's do it. Three, three two, two, one. one. Pikachu! <laughs> now we added this extra little detail over here. We added his tail. You can leave that off, but I think our art friends should add even more things to their drawing. What could they add? Like a different Pokemon. Oh, that would be awesome. You could draw a different Pokemon. You want to make sure that you draw it below this top fold and above this bottom fold. That way it's hidden when you fold it back up. Did you have fun? Yeah. You promise? Yeah. And we hope you had a lot of fun too. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. Remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than ours because the most important thing is to have fun and to practice. Practice. We'll see you guys later. We love you. Oh. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Pikachu. Pikachu. <laughs> hey, friends, here we're going to draw a shark. Yeah, we're going to make a folding surprise puppet shark. This yeah. is gonna be really cool. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need something to draw with. We're using markers. You also need some paper and something so, to color with. Uh, I almost did it for you. <laughs> you ready to start? Yeah. We're first gonna take the top edge of our paper and we're gonna fold it down to the bottom, line it up with the edge, and then I like creasing it right down the middle and then out to the corners. Then we're gonna take the top flap and we're gonna fold it back up to the top or the middle of our paper and crease it down the middle and then out to the corners. Good job, line it up, there you go. All right, now we're gonna flip over our paper and then we're gonna do the same thing. Repeat that same step. Take the bottom edge and fold it up to the top. Crease it down. Now we can take that last fold and unfold it, and flatten it out, and then we're gonna flip it back over. And the folded part should be up at the top. You don't want it like this, you want it like that. <laughs> I'm gonna put a scratch piece of paper underneath our white paper so that our marker doesn't bleed through our drawing paper and get onto the table. Now we're going to use our markers. We're gonna draw a half circle on the top of our fold and we're gonna draw another half circle below so that we have a full circle. So we'll start over here and we're gonna draw a half circle. It comes over like this and then back down. Looks like an upside down U. And you wanna leave some room up at the top so that we can draw the shark fin. There you go. 
Nice. And we're going to start over here and we're going to draw another half circle or U shape underneath to complete our circle. Next, let's draw the eyes for our shark. I'm going to draw a circle on the left and a small circle over here on the right. Now let's draw a smaller circle in the top right of each eye. This is for the highlight. Now we're going to color in the big circle, but leave the little circle white. If we ever go too fast, or if we fast forward the video, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, you can pause the video if you need extra time. Okay, now let's draw the nostrils on our shark. We're just going to draw two little dots right in the middle of the eyes, in between the eyes. Now let's draw the top fin. We're going to draw a upside down V. We're going to go up and then back down. Now let's draw the side fins. We're going to draw a curve that comes down like this and then back up. Looks like a curved V. There you go. And then let's repeat that same step over here on the right. Curve down and then back up. All right, Austin, you did it. You finished drawing a really cool shark, except we're not completely done. What do we still need to draw on the inside? His mouth. Yeah, his really cool shark mouth. And we're gonna open up our drawings like this. You can flatten them out. And the first thing we're gonna do is connect the top down to the bottom. He's gonna have a huge mouth. And we're gonna do the same thing on the right side also. And just draw a straight line, connects down to the bottom. Now we're gonna draw the top of his mouth. We're gonna start over here just below the fold and we're gonna draw a line that comes across like that. And we're gonna leave space on both sides. Yeah, now let's draw the bottom of the mouth. We're gonna draw another line down here that's close to the edge, close to the side, but it's above the fold on this one. Now let's connect the top of the mouth down to the bottom. We're just gonna draw another straight line all the way down. We'll do the same thing over here on this side. <laughs> He's looking awesome. Mm -hmm. What should we draw next? His teeth. His sharp teeth. We'll start over here and we're gonna draw a bunch of zigzag lines and I'm drawing really tall teeth so that he looks even scarier. Good job, now let's draw the bottom teeth. I'm gonna do upside down V's all the way across the bottom of his mouth. There we go. Now let's draw his tongue. We'll start right here and we're gonna draw a U, the letter U, and I start on the fold, the middle fold, draw it down to the teeth and then back up. Okay, now on the top of the U, we're gonna draw two bumps to finish the tongue. Now we're gonna draw his throat. Let's first draw a smaller U right here in the above the tongue in the middle. This is for that little punching bag right in the middle <laughs> of your throat. <laughs> On each side, we're gonna curve around and then connect down to the tongue. And then we'll do the same thing on the right side. Curve around and connect. All right, Austin, we did it. We finished drawing our sharks. They look really cool, except they're gonna look even cooler once we do what? Color it. Yeah, we need to color our drawings. This part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end, you guys can pause the video to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Austin, give me five. You did such a great job on coloring your shark. Do you think he looks better colored in? Yeah. I think so too. Now we use gray to color the top and also his fins, but we should show our friends what's on the inside. Yeah. You ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. <laughs> I really like your fish that you added in the folding surprise. Now you guys can add fish or add other things. Maybe a hamburger. What else could they add? Um, like more fish in his mouth or something. Oh yeah, you could actually put fish inside of his mouth. Yeah. Now we're gonna turn this into a puppet. So let's fold it back up and you can hold it 
just like this. So you can fold the top and also the bottom. And then you can open and close your mouth. Yeah, like that. But to make it a little easier, I'm gonna take a piece of tape like this and you fold it over and I'm gonna tape your fingers down to the paper. This makes it easier. And then, yeah, flip it over and I'm going to tape your thumb down. Now I tape mine down too. That makes it a lot easier to hold it like a puppet. Rawr, rawr. We're gonna eat your fish. <laughs> we hope you guys had a lot of fun following along with us and making your own shark puppets. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Mm -hmm. Mm, that's some tasty fish. Ah! Hey, our friends here are gonna draw a cupcake. Yeah, we're gonna draw a scary cupcake. Well, when it's folded, it's cute. And then when you open it, it's gonna be really scary. Like a monster cupcake. Yeah, yeah it's gonna be awesome. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use markers. You also need? Paper and something to color with. Yeah, are you ready to start? Yeah. We're actually gonna fold first. Oh. Let's take the top edge of our paper and we're going to fold it down to the bottom, line it up, and then crease it down the middle. Now, if you've done one of these folding surprises before, you already know how to do this. Mm -hmm. It's the same steps for every time. <laughs> then we're going to take the top flap and fold it back up to the top, line it up, and crease it down the middle and out to the corners. Yeah. Now we can flip it over. And we're Flip gonna, it over. Yeah. Whoa. Well, that kind of worked. And then we're going to take this top flap and fold it back up to the top also. This last fold is just a guide fold to help us know where the folding surprise is so that we draw everything inside of the folding surprise. So we're going to take that flap and then unfold it and flatten it out. Then let's flip it back over. There you go. I have scratch paper we can put underneath our drawing. This is to protect our table, but it doesn't have to be red. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's draw. We're gonna use our markers, and we're first gonna draw our cute cupcake. Let's start right here. We're gonna draw the first part below the fold. We'll start over here, and we're gonna draw a bumpy line. We're gonna start here, and I'm gonna draw, this is the bottom of our cupcake frosting, like, yeah. There like, we go. Yeah. Yeah, like like that. Then we're gonna draw the wrapper to our cupcake, the bottom part. We're gonna draw two lines that come down and they kind of get closer together towards the bottom. I love your cupcake already. It's <laughs> a little really different. Hard. Yeah, I like <laughs> I like what I like it when our drawings are a little different. I think it looks awesome. Now we're gonna connect at the bottom. And I made that line a little curved, but you could draw it straight. Let's also draw the texture for the wrapper. I'm gonna draw a line right down the middle. And then we can split the left side and also the right side. Okay, now we need to draw the top of our cupcake. Mm -hmm. We'll start over here on the left and we're gonna continue the little bumpy line up and I'm gonna curve in. And we'll do the same thing over here on the right. Up and curve in. Yeah, we could also add an extra little bump if you want, but the main thing is we're going to come all the way across over to the other side and connect over here. There's the main shape of our cupcake. We could add all kinds of extra details to it to make it look even cuter. <laughs> so you guys at home could add whatever details you want. I'm going to add a uh, unicorn horn. It's not gonna be cute for long. Yeah, we're gonna change it. So we got an upside down V. We could also add a little texture to the unicorn horn, draw little lines going across. And then we could also, I'm gonna add little, maybe this is a little flower or some kind of wings. Those could be uh, unicorn wings. Head wings. Yeah, head wings. <laughs> Now let's draw the cute face. I'm gonna draw a circle over here on the left and we can draw a circle over here on the right, the same size on each side. Then let's draw the highlight. We can draw a little circle inside, a little reflection. And then let's color in the big circle but leave the little circle white. Now, anytime we go too fast, or if you want to add extra things to your drawing, 
Remember, you can always pause the video. Yes, for extra time. There we go. We got we got our eyes colored in. I'm gonna add two little eyelashes over here. That's gonna make it even cuter. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Now let's draw the mouth. I'm gonna draw a little happy mouth in the, in the middle. <laughs> can also add little cheek lines too if we want. I'm gonna add sprinkles. I'm gonna add these little rectangle shapes all over the top of my cupcake. We could even add hearts. Let's add little hearts floating on the outside of our cupcake. This makes it even cuter, mm -hmm. I guess. You could make it a boy cupcake too. <laughs> you could, yeah, you don't have to, <laughs> don't have to make it look this cute if you don't want to. <laughs> now we're ready to open up our cupcake. Let's unfold it and we can flatten out the folds. Our look. cupcake frosting is flying. <laughs> it's up all the way up here at the top and we have the bottom of our cupcake down here. Now we're gonna draw all of this stuff on the inside, the scary part of our cupcake. Now the important part with this step is we wanna make sure that we draw everything below this top fold, so down here, and then everything also above this bottom fold. We don't wanna go outside of those lines because, or else you can see the scary part. Yeah, when you fold it back up, you'll be able to see it. So we'll unfold it like this and draw everything inside. We'll start down here and let's draw a little bump coming out and then maybe a bigger bump. Yeah, and we're coming out really wide so that we have a big mouth. <laughs> and then we're gonna draw, I'm gonna draw one more. Yeah, like that, or two more bumps coming out. Let's repeat that same step over here. I'm gonna draw a little bump, big. We can mix up the bumps. So some are big and some are little. Our cupcake is exploding. It is. <laughs> Let's draw the mouth or the bottom of the mouth next. I'm gonna start over here and I'm gonna draw the bumps going the other way. Some of them are big and some are little. So it keeps it looking like frosting. Cupcake's still made out of frosting, even though it's scary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next, let's draw the sharp, scary teeth coming out of the bottom. We're gonna draw a really tall M right here. I'm gonna come up, down, back up, and then back down. Whoa, that looks... Really sharp. Yeah. And tall. There you go. <laughs> now, on this side, we're gonna draw the really sharp teeth coming out, look, I'm curving. See how I'm curving the teeth? Mm -hmm. Curving them that, this direction. Yeah, oh, those are, those are really <laughs> scary. Now I'm gonna draw scary sharp teeth curving the other direction on this side. I love how long those teeth are. Next, we're gonna draw this scary tongue coming out and it's gonna be split, kind of like a, oh, a lizard. A split tongue, yeah, that's gross. <laughs> we'll start here and we're gonna draw a curve that comes up towards the middle of our paper. Then we're gonna curve around and you could really curve your this tongue any direction you want. I'm gonna curve it up like this and maybe back around. Oh yeah, that's gross. Okay, let's do the other side that kind of matches, but it could also do something else different. Let's curve out of the mouth like this, and then I'll start curving down, and then maybe this one comes up. Oh, weird, like that. Okay, now we need to draw the inside. First, let's draw a point right in the middle of the tongue. So we're gonna draw it right about there. And this is where it splits. So we'll start at that point and I'm gonna draw another curve. Watch how I match the same curve that we just drew, but I'm getting closer until it comes to a point at the end. Have to kind of go skinny right That's here. That's okay. You could even use overlapping if you want. Oh yeah. Yeah, that looks really cool. and then come down and connect. <laughs> All right, now let's do the other side. We're gonna come up and curve around and get closer. We're matching the same curve, but we're getting closer as we get to the end 
Oh, that's really gross. That's disgusting. <laughs> now let's draw the top connecting down. We're gonna start over here on the left and we're gonna draw a bumpy line coming down like this. We're gonna go behind and connect down here. So you could use, oh yeah, overlapping the top part and the bottom. Let's do the same over here. We're gonna draw a bumpy line that comes in and connects so it looks like it's going behind the tongue. Okay, now we can draw the top of our mouth. Let's draw this same line, but we're gonna draw it the other way. I'm gonna draw a bumpy line. This, coming across. Oh, I, I really like drawing bumpy lines. <laughs> They're fun. You do? It's probably because you could design them anywhere you want. Yeah, you don't have to draw it exactly like me. Okay, now let's draw those scary teeth. Those really long teeth. I'm gonna draw a really long W right in the middle. Then on this side, I'm gonna draw the teeth coming out and curving this way. And then on the other side, I'm gonna draw them curving the other way. That makes them look even scarier. It looks like it's gonna eat you. Oh. Or bite his tongue. Yeah, yeah, hopefully not. <laughs> Let's add a few more things to our drawing. We're gonna draw the back of our cupcake monster's mouth. I'm gonna draw more bumpy lines. I'm gonna imagine it going behind the tongue, coming down and connecting to the teeth down here. There you go. And we can do the same thing on the right side. I'm gonna draw the bumps going the other direction. Kinda of looks like our cupcake's made out of clouds. Mm -hmm. Let's draw arms coming out of our cupcake. I'm gonna draw a line that comes out and up. Are these wings or uh, arms? They kinda of look like, it could be wings if we want. We're gonna turn them into arms. And then let's draw a talon, a really scary talon. Comes out and back in. A sharp talon. And we can draw another talon right below it. Well, that's really scary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we're gonna bend back in. <laughs> That's really creepy. It kind of looks like an insect arm. And amazing. And amazing, at, all at the same time. I'm gonna do the same step over here. Now you guys really could add as many details, little extra things to make your cupcake monster scary. Oh, I'm gonna add little texture lines coming across like this. Oh yeah, that's gross. Mm -hmm. And we'll do the same thing over here. Oh. <laughs> Let's add more, I'm gonna draw more horns, kind of like the unicorn horn sticking out over <laughs> here. I'm gonna draw a couple of them, maybe down here too. Oh yeah. Oh, I almost drew over oh, the yeah. line. Oh yeah, yeah, make sure if you draw those, <laughs> draw them below the fold. Yeah, don't forget that, that's important so that it's hidden when you fold it up. I'm gonna add those little lines on the horns and we could add even more of those little bumpy wing things like this. Oh yeah. Yeah, make sure you don't draw outside of the fold. Now this part, we are going kind of fast because we're just adding little things. You can add as many, th oh, we need more sprinkles. Oh don't yeah, we, we forgot the sprinkles. We need more sprinkles. I was like, we're missing something yeah. here. <laughs> I'm gonna add even more sprinkles down here on this side. Oh yeah, this is looking really scary and and also tasty. And cute. Yeah, cute and scary. <laughs> oh, we need more hearts. I'm gonna draw a few more hearts in here. The only thing that we need to do now is color it. Yes, you're so right. This part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video one more time if you wanna match our same coloring. You really could color your monster any way you want though. Mm -hmm. It would be really cool. You could if color it, it rainbow. Yes, or different flavors, mm -hmm. like chocolate. Blueberry. Strawberry. Chocolate. I already said chocolate. Oh, <laughs> raspberry. You ready to fast forward? Yeah.
Sadly, we did it. We finished coloring and drawing our cupcake, our cute cupcake. Mm -hmm. oh, it's not really cute, is it? Nope. <laughs> I love your drawing so much. This is now one of my new favorite folding surprises because it's so cute and so disgusting it's all like, at the same time. Hi. <laughs> Can oh. you eat me? No. Yeah, sure. Roar, never mind. <laughs> now you guys can pause the video right now to match our same coloring. I also hope that you're going to change your drawings and color them differently or add even more things to your drawing. And we hope you had a lot of fun drawing with us. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> oh.